Tell me what you think about the pot. Real life pot. Oh, that is a real life pot. There's no sun up in the sky. Welcome to another episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as watch a video all that we three. Not because of Ash too, because me and Tater are going to go catch a cat. Rescue. Rescue a cat, that's right. I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a general contractor from Western Road, Louisiana. I like to make videos and save animals. Be a fun video for the tax tape. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Could have went down in that pipe or in that pipe. Tate, what have you gotten us into, bro? There's no <coughs> sun up in the sky. Don't know why. Where are you going, Clay? I'm going down here to see if Michelangelo's here. Master Splinter. See if you can find Jimmy Hoffa. Oh, <laughs> you down there. Jimmy! I guess I shouldn't be screaming if we're trying to fix this. Why are there so many spiders down here? When you say next one, you mean next one up? Yeah. The time. The time. No Alright, we're gonna get a board and we're gonna stick it in a hole. So if he wants out, he can get out. Sometimes. Don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky. Don't know why. Okay, we got these boards here, we put a little bit of fabric on them, and now we're gonna stick them down in the manhole and that way maybe the cat will climb out. The cat is gonna climb out. That's true. He is gonna climb out. He's gonna he's probably gonna be president of the United States one day. Yeah. He's gonna go on to do great things. He's gonna be one of those talking cats. Yeah. Yeah. This conversation and the whole mission keeps getting weirder and weirder. Good luck, kitty cat. I don't know what that's all about. Sorry. Okay, update on the cat. Jeremy has a, a cage right here, and we're gonna try to catch him in the cage. And he's right there. He's actually right in that catch basin. So he might just, he might just be friendly and just decide to jump into our arms, right, guys? I'm gonna let Caden catch him. You ain't scared of cats, are you? I'd be scared of if he was gonna bite. Cats. Jeremy, I did see Master Splinter down there. So yeah. You might get your karate lesson while you're there. In the side. <laughs> We're gonna put this over the hole that way we don't have to pick up that big top whenever we catch the kitty. It's a safety precaution, you know? Don't know why. There's no sun up. Alright, trap in is in place, sky. boards are in place. Guys, what's for supper? I think we should eat cat. Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> yeah, today's been pretty much riddled with office work and everything, so now I just I'm just gonna step out here and backwash the pool real quick. Tate has me this cool little pipe set up with the backwash thing, you just kinda point it out here and then when you get ready to backwash it, just flick it on and it backwashes just fine, no problem. Over here look at all this gas line for us, Justin. My bad, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, right. Oh, they caught the cat. That's a good recap. Okay, yeah, they caught the cat today. We planted a lot of plants today. Cat food, Which traps. the board with the carpet worked. Yeah. That was, That's what got him out. That was what got him out. Yeah. So, I think at the end of the day, we could always say, Save the cat. Save the cat. Man. I'm going. Hey, you've been on the video one time or another, huh? Yeah, a couple times. Everybody loves you. Well, this is your first time to ever go swimming in the pool. You gotta go get Papa's glasses, Ray Ray. You got them. Oh. 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 Good job, Ray Ray. Just turned five, five and they're old. really good swimmers. We're Go five years old and we and we got a brand new watch. Oh, sweet! Look at that watch. That is a sweet watch, bro. I would highly, highly recommend swim lessons. They're, they call it something like like infant swim lessons or something like that. But her, uh, the lady's name is Lori something. She's awesome, man. She taught these little boys how to swim like fish. I would highly recommend that if you got a swim pool or anything. Don't even, don't even have to have a pool. What if they get down by a pond and need to learn how to swim? They can swim on their back and they're underwater. They're just it's just a really awesome program. <laughs> I nearly drowned. <laughs> Joe and Miss Tina got you a birthday present. Strong, brave, and smart. No wonder the world is amazed by you. Happy heroic birthday, Joe and Tina. Oh, that is so sweet. They are so sweet. We played Judah. This is your gift card. It says you're so sweet and bye bye. This is vlog number
number 236. I own a business, I own a bunch of property, I'm a developer. I feel like I'm really what you would consider a busy individual. And on top of that, I do a daily video. That, and I say all this to arrive at this question. How can somebody do that every single day? How can somebody take care of their business, their family, and something that's extra? Something that, that is not just extra, but it's like overwhelmingly extra. And the simple answer to that question is, how is your health? When I first started doing daily videos, my health was starting to get better. And before then, my health was not so good. I was always working hard. I was always so focused on certain things and I, I would never focus on my, my health. I would never focus on my body. I would, I would never just slow down and say, okay, Clay, you're starting to not feel so good. What's wrong with you? So long story short, I went to the doctor and said, I don't feel good. They tested my blood. It turns out I had low vitamin D. I had low iron. I had low testosterone. I had just a lot of things that were just not right. A lot of things that were in balance. So once the doctor figured out things were just not right in my body, they helped me get that corrected. And that's where it all started. And let's back up a little bit. There's times when I felt like my mental health was not where it should have been. But what I learned through the process is if your physical health gets right, it's a lot easier to get your mental health right. Because chemicals and vitamins and things in your body, they affect your mind also. So once I was able to get all that right, things started to click. Things started to happen more easily for me. To end this talk, I always wondered why I couldn't do these elite things. Something to push my body and mind to the limit. Why, why is all these people, other people doing it, but I, I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. I don't have the drive to do it. I don't have the energy to do it. I just never thought about health. As a younger person, your body, it reacts to things differently. You, you don't worry too much about it. You don't worry about your body that much because it just, it just works as it should. But as you get older, it stops working as it should. I hope I didn't end that on too heavy of a note. That's been another episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.